So today we're going to discuss your reel. And um, when I ask actors if they're proud of their reel, like really proud, I know that, um, hi Tiger, I know that most, I would say 95% of the actors always reply no, or that they're waiting for more footage, um, or that they don't have a reel, or that they're not proud at all. I've written down some of the answers I usually get. Yeah, waiting for footage. Um, I know I have to work on it, but I have no time. Um, it's not good. I actually know that it's not good. Um, I can't make it good because I have no work. And because I have no work, I can't put it in my reel, but I need a reel to have the work. So it's kind of a loop. And inevitably, it's a problem because if you don't have a reel, people can't see the type of work you do. And if they can't see how good you are, they can't hire you for that talent, right? So um, it, it really is, um, it, it is something that you want to be taking care of. So um, to kind of try and explain it in a different way, I'm a coach, right? And if my testimonials, if the people who worked with me um, didn't really have amazing breakthroughs, with the coaching that we do together, and they would write okay testimonials, or you know, they would say, Yeah, it was helpful, something like that. Well, I wouldn't be proud of those testimonials because they don't reflect the type of work that I know that I can do. And if they don't reflect the type of work that I know that I can do with actors or other artists, well, I also know that no one is going to be interested in working with me right? Because it's not a reflection of what I can do. If you met me and read, read, read the reviews about me and they were all like, mm, so, so, well, you know, there's plenty of coaches out there. You would just turn the page or swipe or do whatever it is that we do nowadays and you would go to the next one, right? So guess what happens with your reel? If it's like, mm, it, the same thing happens. If you're not extraordinary in your material, people are not going to want to work with you. And you would do the same thing. If you were the director of a movie and you received a reel that's so-so, why would you trust that person to take on the role that you wrote with your sweat and tears and blood? You, you want to have someone that you can rely on, right? And if you are a director and you receive an extraordinary reel of someone who can stretch and bend their instrument and who's extremely instinctive and completely alive like a reel that you would be super proud of no matter the production value a reel that you would be amazingly proud of a reel that you would want to show your family a reel that you would want to call agents about because you know you'd be bringing something to the table rather than asking for an agent to work with you a reel that you could you know, also pick up the phone and call directors that you want to call with and say, hey, here's my material. I love what you do. Please check it out. And not like be begging for work, but offering your talent because you know that what they're going to see is incredible. Well, you and I know that that kind of reel gets you in the room. And when you can have that kind of reel, it means that your instrument is unblocked. It means that your instrument is open that you can be instinctive, that you can be fully alive, that you can take on those challenging auditions and those challenging roles, that you can be trusted to do the work, right? So again, if we take the analogy of a coach, and for instance, me, and you would read the reviews and they wouldn't be things like, oh my God, I've never experienced this level of freedom in my life, or I'm finally acting the way I always imagined it was possible to act, or I've never felt this incredible, I didn't even know it existed. Those are the type of reviews that people are writing about the work that they do with me because that's the quality of the work they do. And that's why some of you read it and you're like, okay, I want that for myself because I see that it's true. So when a director, a casting director or an agent is watching your reel and they see something that you are not proud of, they are not going to be happy about it either. They're not going to be eager and drooling to hire you, to sign you, to work with you, or to even test you, or to even give you a chance. 
because you wouldn't give me a chance either if you read reviews that didn't make sense. So I, I'm wanting for us to have this discussion and, and kind of change your perspective. The reason why you're not proud of your reel is probably not because you're waiting for footage or probably not because you didn't get those yummy rolls that you can be great at. It's probably because in your foundation, in what you have to offer, which is a fully alive instrument, a fully alive, emotional, instinctive instrument to play characters with, if it's blocked in any way, shape, or form, if it hasn't been liberated, if you haven't done the work of working through your tensions, your fears, your shrinking, any type of block that you might be feeling in your voice, in your memory, in you know parts of your body shaking or being tense, it's going to be in your reel. And if it's going to be in your reel, it's like a domino effect, right? It's going to be on the agent's desk and it's going to be on the casting director's desk and it's going to be on the director's desk. And therefore, you cannot offer this and get that, right? If you want this, you need to offer this. So you need to match what you're asking for. So, um, yeah, the reason why you might not be proud of your reel is because you haven't dealt with the only thing that you're responsible for that will give you the happiness the fulfillment, the artistic um, canvas to express yourself, which is an instrument which is completely free, unblocked, and that can go anywhere. That's your job. If I have testimonials that are so-so, it's because in my coaching, I am not providing an extraordinary service, which is not the case because I have some pretty amazing results from what I'm reading from the people who are doing this work with me, right? So I want you to think of it this way, not as a victim of I'm waiting for footage or I haven't gotten the chance yet to film anything, but more so, okay, this is on me. Let me take care of this. I'm the main ingredient of this reel. And if I'm blocked in any way when I act, I'm also blocked in the way I make things happen for myself, and therefore I need to take care of that. In the in um, Magnetic Actor webinar, I'll put the link to the wait list um, after this talk. I um, tell you about the reset journey from resistance to freedom. This bonus is in, in there about how exactly, once I have a free instrument, how do I make that real happen in a month? You can have an extraordinary reel that will get you in the room and that you'll be proud to show everyone from your grandma to any director. In a month, you can do that. So um, when we open doors to the magnetic, um, to the instinctive, sorry, um, um, to the instinctive actor webinar, get on there, watch it, and do the work to actually provide a service as an actor that has an extraordinary unblocked instrument.